Hey everybody, my name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and welcome back to the channel. Today we have my latest find. This was an online auction up in Cherokee, Iowa. This is a 1956 Buick Special. It's got a 322 Nailhead V8 with an automatic transmission. This car was actually one of the only cars in the auction that didn't sell for ridiculous money. Everyone was sleeping on this one and uh, I was drinking a little bit at an auction and saw it and had to have it so just put a bid in thinking you know probably go go way above my means but obviously it didn't so here she is uh, it's the rare four door no window or no pillar hard top so four door hard top or a sport sedan um, as they're also known this car has been off the road since 1997 the old guy that had these cars um, developed some dementia and he is now in a long-term care facility so had to sell the cars to pay for his care but um, with that said let's put this old girl back on the road so again 322 nailhead it's the precursor to you know the 401 and and uh, the legendary engine there this car was originally black with a red interior I don't know why anyone would paint it this blue and green and white color here but black on red originally Everything's there except the radio. But you have your your air vents here in the dash, which I think is pretty cool. Um, clock in the dash as well. Steering wheel's all complete. Headliner's in it, which appears to be original. The seats appear to be original. Um, it's got the original floor mat as well. It's a rubber floor mat. And you have some carpet back here between the, between the seats. But really a, a cool car. It does have some rust issues but that's nah, a little weight reduction that's okay but as you guys can see this is just a killer car the windows roll up and down real nice all four hubcaps are there it even says what year make and model it is 1956 buick special so if we look here at the engine really clean and sanitary um i have not tried to start the engine yet none of that stuff the guys t did tell me the engine was free but they never messed with it so we are going to today attempt to put a battery in it see if the lights work first of all what what doesn't work what does work and uh see if we can bring some life back to this old 1956 buick all right so went to napa got one of their legend batteries positives over here and the negative, I'm gonna replace this cable eventually. It's pretty dang chewed up and tattered, but let's just see what we have, if it cranks, if we have lights, turn signals, whatnot. All right, we have both headlights. And we have tail lights. All right. Where's the horn works? Even the horn works. Alright, let's see what we can do with this car. Alright guys, so I don't know if this thing's going to fire up. Well, obviously it's not going to because there's no gas in it. But a cool thing with these cars I want to show you all, if you don't know about this, is on your ignition switch you have lock, on, and off. There's no start position. How you actually start these is you have to have the key on position. And you literally, there's a foot switch behind the, the accelerator, and that's how you start the car. So if you guys don't know how to start an old Buick, that's how to do it. Now, if you put the key on and hit your foot feed and there's nothing, your motor's locked up, your starter's bad, or the switch on the carburetor's bad, and you can jump that with a, a simple toggle switch to start the car, but that is how you do it. This The last year, this was 1960, I believe, but if you have a car pre-1960, it's nice to know. All right, first thing here, we're going to take the oil bath air cleaner off. Yeah, and as you guys can see right here is that, that toggle switch, or that accelerator switch. So if that goes bad, you can always jump these. Single one barrel carburetor. It's not stuck. That's good. So let's, uh, let's see if we have power to the coil and then start kind of start diagnosing this thing. All right, grab your handy dandy. 
test light here. Get it ground. You have your negative wire going into um, the points and stuff. Your positive wire is coming off of this main feed here. So this will be the one to test with the key on. All right, key's hot. And yeah, we do have power up here to the coil. So that's that's a good sign. I should have filmed this, but it was a pain getting this off this cap here. So I just took some uh, some hundred grit sandpaper, and cleaned up the points and the contact right there. And now turn the key to on. I'm gonna snap these. I'm gonna see if I can get a good video of this. Got some spark, so let's keep moving. All right, everybody. I know in the last video I did, um, everyone was saying, why don't you let the thing, you know, prime the oil, whatever it is. So I did. I, I had the starter crank a little bit for probably five, ten seconds a couple times. So, you know, the oil has been worked up to the, to the top here. But let's put a little bit of gas in. And uh, let's see if she'll run. Well, she does run everyone. Uh, oil pressure actually came up to 35 pounds for the, the two seconds it was running. Um, let's see if we can get the, the hose off of the fuel pump. I'll run a temporary gas can, see if we can get this thing to, to idle and actually stay running. Holy hell, was this an accident waiting to happen. So first of all, this is goofy because the fuel line actually runs on the driver's side down to the frame, or down to the gas tank. But this line has been cut and I can literally turn turn that by hand. Now obviously, it was the whole thing turns. I mean, let me see if I get my hand in here. Yeah, that's that ain't good when you have something that loose. You can literally take it take it out by your well, you know by your finger strength after 20 some years. That would not have been good if uh, had fuel pump through that and got hot and had a fire. So let's fix it the right way. Take it loose, tighten it up, and uh, keep going here. All right, everybody, so we uh, we heard it run. Let's put a little gas in it. I got a, come here, Dad, I'll show you this. I've got a temporary line and a gas tank uh, right here with a old Prestone can. So this is the way it should be. It's factory. Turn the key on. drive in 1997 so 20 I can't do math there 23 years I better put the 24. hood down better put the hood down
lights work, or mainly all the lights work. It does not have power steering, but it has power brakes. Kind of odd that a Buick does not have power steering. Ed, remember when I filmed you? Remember when we took a drive in the 59? Yeah. You want to say hi to everyone again? Hey, hi. how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I brought my uh, my yeah. newest treasure down. You want to look at it? I had, I had what, well, mine was a two-door hardtop. Two-door hardtop? Yeah. Uh, 60, uh, this one's a 56, Ed. 56, that's what I had. But mine was a two-door hardtop. Well, this is a four-door hardtop, so it's... It's close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's a nice car, though. No, I had I had one like, but that was a two-door hard top. You couldn't. Uh, it was a good, heck of a nice car. Now, was yours a Buick Special or a, yeah, a Roadmaster? Buick, Buick Special. Yeah, because this one right here, Ed, you see, it's uh, it's missing the trim, but you can see where it used to say Special on it. Yeah, so. Yeah. Where'd you get this at? Cherokee, Iowa. Cherokee, Iowa. Yep. So about two and a half hours away. Yeah. No, oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Does, that, it, does it bring back some memories? Yes, it sure does. A lot of <laughs> memories. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun. Ed. Well, you want to go for a ride? I don't care if you want to. All right, you want to get in the, the other side, Ed? Yeah. So, Ed, what do you think of the uh, what do you think of the drive here? It's great. It's great. Real does, nice. Real does, nice drive. Does it take you back to 1956? Yes, it does. Way back in 1956. <laughs> it's a little louder than before, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it was... No, we had we enjoyed it real well. I and my wife, we uh, went and took a lot of trips in it. And, uh, and then, then we had two kids, a boy and a girl, and then they did, we didn't have the room or anything. For everything, I had to get rid of it. <laughs> Too much, or not enough doors, right? Yeah, I hate to get rid of it. I, and uh, so, yeah. but, but you do what you gotta do when you have kids, right? That's right. That's what happens. That's what happens when you're having fun. That's the truth. You know, everyone, a lot of the fun is, you know, putting them back on the road, driving these cars, but a lot of the fun, too, is seeing the people that used to drive these cars new, and even the kids, you know, that see an old car, and they they just light up. I mean, I know Ed, he's 89 years old, um, you know, retired, doesn't get out a whole lot. I'm not going to say he's a shut-in or nothing like that. I mean, I see him around town plenty of times, but compared to me, he, uh, he probably doesn't get out as much as he used to, and seeing his face light up when when he saw this car, brought it back a whole lot of memories for him, taking him for a ride in the car. That uh, That's what this is all about. So we did get it running and driving. Um, I did order some new parts here. Uh, got new hoses coming, new thermostats, um, new new cables here for the battery. But uh, yeah, she does run, drive, stop. Lights work, interior lights work, all that good stuff. So you guys will be seeing this car probably soon, either doing more videos on it, like doing the brakes or driving around and getting ice cream, or this car will be sold, um, but eventually it will be for sale. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure to leave a like rating, comment your thoughts and opinions on the car and the video itself. Any ways I can improve the editing or the filming of these videos would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe as you'll stay up to date with all my old car finds and will it run videos. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I will catch you next time.